Do you like chemistry? Do you want to pursue it as a research career? How? Haven't got any satisfactory answers yet? Let's find out from the researchers themselves. Not just that, let's feel as they feel it. Let's experience as they experience it. Let's see theoretical chemistry as they see it. I started my bachelor studies in 2010 at the Ruhr University in Bochum and I got my Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and now I'm a master's student and I'm doing a um, internship here at the MPI for Kohlenforschung. Um, I'm participating in a relatively new master program funded by the uh, Cluster of Excellence um, which the, in which the Ruhr University Bochum um, takes part in. Um, it's called IMOS, Molecular Science and Simulation, which is very uh, much uh, focused on spectroscopic techniques and simulation techniques. And so I started in biochemistry because I'm very much interested in all the um, fundamental processes um, that govern um, yeah, all kinds of uh, biological um, functions and life forms. And at some point I started to um, wonder if the biochemistry program is really the right thing for me because I was very much interested in theoretical stuff and physical background. That's why I decided to um, do this IMOS program I was talking about. And um, yeah, but actually this now is my uh, real first uh, theoretical chemistry experience. <laughs> so because during my uh, master program I did an internship in the uh, uh, at the University of California Santa Barbara, which was actually an experimentalist group. I started my primary education in from Dubai. I studied till fifth grade over there, then I came back to India. I finished the rest of my education in India. Then uh, I, I went for integrated masters, that is from SVMIT, masters in chemistry. After that, uh, uh, currently I'm doing PhD at MPI for Poland Forschung, that is MPI for Poland Research in English translation. I have a, uh, well, it's a Swedish uh, degree, but uh, we can translate it as Master of Science in Chemistry from the University of Gothenburg that I obtained in 2008. Uh, in 2013, in January of 2013, I defended my PhD in also in Chemistry. Now, the University of Gothenburg does not distinguish between different fields of chemistry. It's chemistry or nothing. But previously, they had physical chemistry, theoretical chemistry, and so forth. And that my PhD dissertation would definitely classify as the physical chemistry uh, type. Then I spent one year in Taiwan at the National Xiao Tong University. Uh, and then I started here in 2014 in September. And I've been here now for six months at the Max Planck Institute for Coal Research, or for Coal and Forschung as it's also known. And uh, that's where I am right now, as a postdoctoral fellow. Uh, I uh, I'm from Calcutta. I did my bachelor's uh, from St. Xavier's College, Calcutta. And then I went to Delhi, where I did my master's in chemistry from IIT Delhi. Then I went uh, to Penn State, Pennsylvania State University, where I, that was in 2009, and uh, I worked uh, 
like I joined this group uh, where uh, my advisor moved after two years to University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So we all had to move with her. So that's where I did my PhD then. Um, and yeah, so I'm coming from there. I joined here into uh, last October. So it's been a little less than six months from me. Yeah, so that's, I guess, my trajectory in very few words. Um, I studied biochemistry first in Germany at the Ruhr University Bochum, where I also did my PhD in physics chemistry in 2010. And afterwards, I went as a postdoc to the University of California in Irvine to work with Dr. Stobias. And in 2013, I came back to Germany to become a group leader, group leader at the Max Planck Institute for Coal Forschung or for Coal Research in the English Trade. And um, here I'm part of a bigger group that's called the Cluster of Excellence Resolve. It's funded by the German Science Foundation and brings together a larger number of, of research groups that are focusing on salvation effects. Um, I'm Brazilian, so my PhD and my master, my my uh, my studies were in Brazil, where I did I studied physics, and I completed a master in physics and also uh, uh, a, a PhD in physics, mm -hmm. and then right away I moved to Europe. That was about 11 years ago, uh, as a postdoc in, in Vienna, and I worked there for about six years, and then I moved here as a group leader in 2010. 